take on was Cross White. Off on the break is Aaron Bruce, and he gets a swatted away by Damien Martin. Imagines the man they want to go to. He passes inside. Terrific basketball. Harder because you've got two or three men around you as Kevin Lish just drains the threat. Because it's ticking down to two on the shot clock. Imagine from outside three. He cats a little slack on defense that time. 16-15. Martin. Be keen to go one-on-one. -on -one. You can read that like a book. Born up to Lish. To Redditch, just outside the top of the key. Crosbite will gather. Bruce, can he get it? Yes, he can. Couldn't find his way inside the key. Henry. Oh, that's the way we like to see him. <laughs> well, it could be just the spark that they need as Redditch from outside drops in a three-pointer. Redditch, the big man in the middle. Henry from outside. Oh. Off the glass for a long bomb as well. You take it. Wagstaff, Toby, doesn't shoot a lot. He probably should shoot some more. Holders. 16 points, that margin. Pushing and shoving over in the corner. Time ticking away. Henry drops another long bomb. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Turns it over, though. Martin was good. Jeremiah upstairs for the slam. Henry has it. We're smothering him at the moment, but he worked his way through and scored oh. the two. <laughs> Lish to Wagstaff. Wanting something in the corner. Redditch has had a top game. Sean Redditch. Arena, but the Cats look like they're pretty comfortable at the moment with a big game next week against Wollongong as Wagstaff gets himself in a little bit of form. The Wildcats, so they'll get a chance to get it over 50. Garland. Gets it over 50 with the longest bomb of the night. Game will be over now as he finishes with the two. 56 points for the Sydney Kings. The Wild Kings, 75. They did what they had to do in the jungle. It wasn't a pretty first quarter, but after quarter time, the Cats were far too good.